Shalom. My name is my brother E. I'd like to welcome you back to another day. I'm going to begin off like as always begin off with a prayer. Father. from captivity, set them free from the precious blood of Jesus. May the blood of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach, work through every family member, household. We know that today is a day that people celebrate, but this is the day that we celebrate you. This is the day we give thanks to you. We give thanks for you giving us your son, Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, who went to the cross to die for our sins, so we are able to reconcile us ourselves back to you, to be forgiven, to wash clean with his holy blood for all sins and all iniquities and transgressions. We ask and we, we thank and we continuously ask for the love and the grace that we need in our lives to continuously to work our, our salvation. We give thank you, thanks for your son. We thank you for his life. We thank you for all that he has done in his ministry to bring us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for loving us so much. We thank you for giving us your son to give us grace and mercy and love. You're an awesome God. There's no God but you and only you. You stand alone. For you, the God of Israel, and I thank you. I thank you for saving me. I thank you for bringing me out of darkness into the kingdom of light. I thank you for bringing those on the sound of my voice to God's ministry and all those who's coming to listen. And taking them from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. We thank you for saving them, healing people. We thank you for your generous, your generosity, O oh, Heavenly Father, King of Israel. We thank you for your mercy, your grace, through your Son, Yeshua Mashiach. We continue to ask for that love and grace and mercy to be poured in every aspect of our lives, freeing us from all stress, worries, sadness, depression, oppression, every evil spirit known unknown. And through the blood of your only begotten Son, we ask that you wash us clean and set us free, set us free through the precious blood. Free us from the evil spirits that are attacking us and the evil spirits that's in the world. Protect us and shield us from the spirit of the Antichrist. Protect the children, the little ones, who the, the, the parents under the sound of my voice have children. Protect them with the blood of Yeshua. Cover the children, Father. Protect your children. There's the little ones who are inherited to salvation. So we ask for the spirits who sent forth to minister to those who are here to salvation. The little ones who send the spirits of angels of protection to protect their salvation, to minister, to protect them while they're sleeping, while they're awake. Protect them from physical arm and spiritual arm. Protect them from the wickedness that's in this world. Send your angels to place them in your special care and in your hands so to protect the little ones, to protect their parents, protect the whole household, to bring freedom to the whole household, to each member, so you experience who you are, Father. Do this prayer, may this prayer be answered, and may it bring glory to your kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. Okay, um, I know today is a day that we all, some well, not all, but a lot of people celebrate um, Thanksgiving um, weekend, um, but I like to always turn it around and give the focus to our Lord, the Savior, Jesus, to show our Messiah, being thankful for him going to that cross. And um, just imagine if he didn't go to the cross, just imagine if he would have gave up his purpose and his walk, which was intended for him to go to the cross for us. So I give special thanks to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ and Nephews, Yeshua HaMashiach. And I thank him for the bottom of my soul and my heart for his sacrifice. We, I thank him, I thank him. I thank him for everything that he's done, for, for teaching the apostles so we able, he's, they was able to finish the ministry work that he left behind. And so many others who are following in the footsteps of Yeshua and, 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 and giving birth to ministries under the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Yeshua Mashiach. I thank you for the bottom of my heart, Jesus Yeshua. I thank you, God of Israel, for your only begotten Son. I thank you for setting us apart. I thank you for setting us free. I thank you. So I, I, I want to be able to 
put a, a stamp of approval of the, the grace and the love that we're supposed to have in the heart for um, for our king and what he has done. So I'm going to read um, um, Matthew uh, 5, um, verse 14. Um, this, the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. Uh, it says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. So, you know, the power that, that's in you, which is the Holy Spirit, and if you accept Yeshua HaMashiach as your Lord and Savior, then you're set apart on the hill. There's something that cannot be hid. You're not supposed to hide what the Heavenly Father Abba is doing through you. You know, um, you must not hide that. You must not be closed off in a corner because of all the craziness that's going on in the world and all the fear. And you, you can't be hid. You are set apart on the hill for your light to shine forth. And this is how we bring people into the kingdom by letting them know how good our God is. So many people are worried about what's going on in the world and what's coming in the world. I know sometimes I prophesy what Abba places in my heart, but it's not to prophesy of fear, to put fear, it's to get us ready, it's to be able to help us to understand what the do's and don'ts and how to be able to overcome the things like Yeshua has overcome the world. So to be able to prepare ourselves to keep us ahead of what's coming or what's going on so we could be able to have our minds set on focusing more on Yeshua, more on the gospel, more on the, on the Heavenly Father and more on Scripture, staying strong in the Word. Because no matter what the opposition is, we always got to stay strong in the Word. The Word is the breath of life, is the meat. And through that Word, we're able to stand and um, to be able to stand against anything that comes against us or anything that's in this world. And the things that's in the world, it's not of the Father, it's not of the, of the, um, the Heavenly Father, but the Word of God is. And that's and, and we all know that there's a spirit of the world, and there's a spirit of um, uh, of the Father that flows through us, and that is the most important spirit that we must focus on is the Holy Spirit and, and ministering to others and bringing a, being a light um, set upon um, a hill, set apart, shining forth. So I'm going to read on a little bit, and it says, um, Neither do men light a candle and put it under a brochure, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. So if you're living in the house, or, or if you're with people, or you're just um, part of a, 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 a house, you must shine your light into people's lives. Um, the gospel, uh, the word of God, you know, um, it doesn't have to be, you know, chopping people's heads off. It could be with the fruit of the spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, the fruit of the spirit with peace, love, kindness, um, long suffering, and all the things that represent the fruit of the spirit and wisdom to be able to help people to understand who Abba is, who Yeshua is. So you're supposed to shine your light, not close it off, not hide it from people. Let people know who your God is. I'm going to read on. It says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So the only way that people are going to glorify the Heavenly Father um, that's in heaven is through your works of you shining forth what's in you, what Abba has placed in you. If you are saved, there are people out there who are living in darkness who need the light, who need the, the, the light to be shined, who you are, who you represent in Abba, to shine forth through you, to shine in their lives. So, so there's so many um, people coming together or, you know, coming together because of the Thanksgiving holiday. May your light shine forth unto all those who are, are with you or who you're around so they can see the good works and your father can be glorified to what you do during this gathering and this time with the family. So just remember to stay focused and give thanks to Yeshua, our Lord, our Savior, and to the Heavenly Father for all He has done, for all He has done for us, and for bringing us into the glorious light. I know this is going to help somebody. I'd like to thank you for coming to another daily post of God's ministry. My name is my brother E. Peace and Shalom.